to be fair, I don't think Steph and Rachel are even friends. I know, um... Oh wait, Kylie messaged us! When the fu- I didn't get to message her. Hey cutie, we're excited to get you know to know you. Sorry, who's we? Me and Brayden. One assumes Brayden is like your pet iguana. No, Brayden is my boyfriend. We're looking for a third. Did you read our profile? I did not. Nice. Batting a thousand. <laughs> I'm being ghosted. Uh, put up a poster, update new release sections, check out the event, complete radio show tasks, and listen to your portable recorder. Not Kasha's favourite musical, I take it. Hold list. Oof. We need to get this sucker filled up. Portable recorder. I had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how it- No. Look at the hiccups. Oh my god, are we gonna make music? This is actually pretty sick. <laughs> Should we just listen? Are we just gonna sit here and listen to her? Humming? Oh, yeah. Get it, Steph. This is definitely a weird Zen moment. Guitar. I feel like. Yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a guitar riff. Motion detected at your front door. Take a guess, he is at a cat. No, it's postman. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's postman. Uh, I hope so. No, it wasn't a cat. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Uh, the Seattle scene, the rainy day city's number one free weekly. Local punk favourite drugstore makeup returns by Bernard Nelson. That's the hard thing about being a two piece, explained front one woman. Is he in. Sh sh I can't speak. If you lose one person, that's half the band. Uh, Dissonance of Seattle's punk venues may wonder what happened to the aggressive sets and black lipstick of drugstore makeup after months of silence. Following an unexpected lineup change, Izzy needs to pull together a fresh talent. Our new drummer is a punk rock grenade. It's the kick ass energy we need right now. From Steph, Goblin Child. <laughs> uh, hello there, yonder. Dad, I don't know what could be more grounded than undead nuns. They are literally buried underground. Did you try Shadows and Whiskey yet? It's got all that crime noir you love without the misnogony. Well, uh, love me. P.S. Did you try making the trailer more like a trailer? P.P.S. No dead elk yet, but there's always tomorrow. Uh, Stephanie, hello there, sweets. So how is it out there in Big CEO? Honey Denny Wild, Elk, yeah, I've been bright by deadlines lately. Clients submitted feedback at the last minute asking for their trailer to feel, and I quote, more like a trailer. You got it, boss. Tried watching that show you recommend, but couldn't get past the undead nuns. Do you have anything a little more grounded for me? <laughs> uh, flyers. One day, bad clip art is going to make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. Me too, Steph, me too. Oh, I need to hang up posters. All right, what posters have we got to choose? Hmm. One of these might work. Women of power. Oops, oops. This better live up to the mystery. Oops is me, that is my brand. Oops, we destroyed the world. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Shit, as a former member of drugstore makeup, I'm not in a position to knock anyone's band name. It's not ringing anymore. You're on air with KRCT. Hello? You're on KRCT radio and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Yeah? Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. What? But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. 
follow? Uh, no. Could I just give you my order, and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. Alright, uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Oh boy. Oh boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these four? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list oh, online okay. and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. <laughs> Maybe she's trying to tell I you something. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on. Yeah. You lost me there. <sighs> Alright, dude. Listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. I'm not doing very well. I'll make you text us. Uh, but if you want to tell it, I'm all yours. Hey, 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 did you get that package I sent you? Hell yeah, let's play! Dude, it's been way too long. I'm shut up, hype about merger and Elamon again. Lol. Classic Steph Gingrich. Uh, I need to read all the ads. Let's do Black Lantern. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors. The Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... Historical decor? Historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? That's right. Nowhere. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Top notch burgers? Top notch burger game. Best burgers I did for not 20 read miles that. in any direction. I thought it was like the bullet points. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. I so fucked that up. Oh, yeah, it says authentic atmosphere and good food. Uh, key points move initiative, drug portal, license. Okay. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their super slick job portal. Seriously, I'm not even going to tell you how it works. It's that easy to use. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique <laughs> artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Nailed it. Nailed it. I did it. Uh, okay, we check out this vent. Maybe the cat's in the vent. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, that's oh. kind of nasty. It just needs some screws. Oh my god, that animal's living in the walls. Is it hey, Valkyrie? You in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. <laughs> it's probably Valkyrie, isn't it? Uh, complete radio show tasks, update new release sections. Where's the new release sections? It's instructional. French cuisine and you? <laughs> Learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days. Mastering your email? <laughs> Chapter 1. Turning your computer on. <laughs> uh, mountains? I need to know who's mass producing these mountain paintings for every store in Haven. Okay. Where is the new release sections? Urban. New releases, here we go. Update. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? 
I'm going for 1990s, that's the latest. It's throwback time. Oh, is it not latest releases? It's like boy bands and girl groups. Oh, someone's calling us again. I thought it was just like, just new releases. That's like the latest we have. When they brought me in, Who's it now? I was fading fast. They put me up on a stool. KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Oh, no. Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Start a whiskey IV. What the shell is going on? What? For the sake of filling some airtime? Sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU. <laughs> oh, but then no. I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? <laughs> oh no! Can we just go over this? Are you gonna help me or not? Give bad okay. advice. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? <laughs> Is she gonna go on social media? Oh. <laughs> yes. What am I going to tell this girl? 18, huh? That's a strong role. So, what's my prediction? Even better friends from afar. That okay. she sucks. I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yeah. Okay. It's tough at first. No I mean, if you're really good friends, still, still free, uh, stay friends even with distance. But then you and Tara discover something that keeps you connected. Online gaming. The wonderful world of online gaming. Exactly, like exactly. Z. Social so distancing. Video games. Oh. That's why you dip your toe in slowly. Maybe a board game, something retro. But before long, you and Tara are teaming up to pwn noobs, grind gear, and wreck even the toughest raids. I don't know what that means, but if it's with Tara, I'm sure it'll be fun. All right. That's all I got. Uh, hope it helped. I'm not sure, but it was really fun. Thanks, Steph. Yeah, but- oh shit. Did she break up with her boyfriend, though? I used to feel like something was missing if I wasn't- Call Gabe? Around in my hand. Okay. I'll call Gabe. Did I turn the microphone off, at least? Oh my god, oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me. <laughs> it's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously, and I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? I was gonna say, I was like, she's still got her fucking mic on. I <laughs> should just turned up the volume. <laughs> oh, avoid situations like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. <laughs> Elevate your job prospects today. Oh, rough first day, huh? It's me. Are we on another? Next day. Okay. Kind Haven listeners. Someone's getting fired. Fuck it, probably after that. That means we've got one more day to celebrate pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Did you just throw it. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get twenty percent off the Silver Dragon dispensary. Is she sweating? Participation. Got sweat. Depend on artistic Fucking hell. But just in case. Here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. 
More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. Thanks, Steph. Now I know how to draw a rainbow. Answering your calls in just a few minutes. I never know how to draw, draw a rainbow before this. Fuck, it's hot. <laughs> Oh, is it like a heat wave? Can't relate. <laughs> Can't relate here. <laughs> oh, I got a call. Oh, I actually can't have a fan on because it'll the microphone will pick it up. Rachel is dead. I keep telling you this. Right. She can't call in. She's dead. <laughs> you're very admin on Rachel hey, appearing, aren't you? What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's one of my dinos. What happened? Uh, you're I'm progressively gonna fill up this board with dinos. My boy Grady sat me down yesterday, and he. I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me, and I could have handled it a lot better than I did. Oh no. What does that mean? What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show. Listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe <laughs> I could put in a song request on his behalf, just so he knows I. It's so dumb that coming out is such a big deal, still, man. I love him. You're a good dad. Everybody screws up sometimes. I mean, it right? seems like he accepts him. It's just to make it better. he That's very kind. didn't know how to react at first, just which I mean. Maybe try to be on yeah. board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. <laughs> lesbian Jesus! Before he tried to talk to me. It's Lesbian it was... Jesus, oh my god. All right, let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you, I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back. How many cats are under my duty? <laughs> Ten. Why are we still playing country music? I'm so confused. <laughs> hey, Sasha, <laughs> your pals at Smolder have noticed you're having a massive dry spell on account of you live in fucking nowhere, Colorado. Would you like to expand your date? Currently radius? one. That could happen. Oh, we're doing dating profile again. All right, guys, remember, we're just gonna click like on everything. Maybe the milk will pick back. <laughs> I'll heal for you if you tank for me. <laughs> oh, you two like each other. Start the conversation. I'll make the first move. What kind of opener do I want to use? Digging the sword. <laughs> Guys, this might be the one. <laughs> Rip her a little. Oh, I mean, I mean, fucked up. <laughs> the gay panic. <laughs> this isn't Pumpo BFF. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
how many how many open browser tabs oh no I lost a pet to the population is 69. All right, let's do it. I'll come to your play. <laughs> um, I'm really pushing for it, right, guys. I think this might be the one. I think we might finally have got someone. Unless Steph just does not turn up. Can I keep swiping? I'm gonna keep swiping. I've been told I smell like a new book. Do I want to kick things off or leave it to them? She may as well drive that white van to Denver. I'll leave it to them. Nice to meet you, Steph. Do you want to get to meet each other for a round of Mary Boink Kill? Oh no. Oh no. Mary Boink Kill. Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman. Or wolf person, if prim, let's just presume all fear whatever gender you want them to be. Marry Dracula? Boink off. Boink Frankenstein? Oh no, the bike wolf person. I'm a bit concerned. This is a funny. Ask about movies. Bio pistol. Sounds like an anime. That does not look like an anime. Say goodbye. I don't want to ask too many people out. Should have started like this. I nicknamed your belly white van because I want to put kids in it. In hell. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. Do you stiff? Uh, pop quiz. Best video. Nasty's album. Go. The underground record. Ugh. I set myself up for that one. I just won't mention the town. Look at this council of Colorado lesbians. Denver says hello. Uh, Oregon. Yeah, Oregon. Yeah, Arcade is in Oregon, isn't it? What thing? I can hang. Listen, this is the only love Steph's gonna get for a year. We'll take what we can get. Unless, you know, I start getting stalked and I'm a bit concerned.
Oh god, it's typing. She's typing too fast. Are they? I don't know what their pronouns were. I didn't check. What are their pronouns? Oh, wait. Who the fuck was I messaging? Violet. She, her. Okay. I hope them milfs talk to you. you. You're really adamant on that milf, aren't you? <clears throat> Ask her out. Come to Haven. What if Big Daddy's on the dating site? Mr. X is not going to be on the dating site. Steph might get killed. <laughs> I forgot to get my driver's license. Everyone knows gays don't drive. Why not? Because it's the wrong game. Add to Ethan Strong, listen to your original song, tally foosball score, uh, complete radio show task, check storage for requested radio record. Oh shit. There. I want to meet up too many people. They're all just going to fucking all turn up at once. I'm just going to be like... Hey. <laughs> I don't think anyone else messaged us. Sixties bubblegum pop. Well, I hope Delphic shows up. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Yeah. I mean. I can get that. Um, let's check our texts. Oh, Ryan messaged. I'll let you dream. Hello, this is Ryan. Look in. Well, hello, this is Steph. Gingridge. Ha, well, now we have each other's numbers. I'm glad you're part of the gang. Nice to feel I'm not for wheeling it with Gabe and Char. Or, or, we're both third wheeling it with Gabe and Char. Damn, if only there were a word for another third wheel. Could triple wheel. Is Kiddo with his dad? Yup, just saw them off. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm okay. I guess a little lonely when Ethan's with Leon, but it's only a month. I'll survive. Hell yes, you will. You're a total champion. But in the meantime, if you need a drink buddy to pass the time, I can provide that service. Uh, you're a hero. Thursday, sick. What's your poison? Wine, red, cheap, but not too cheap. A girl after my own heart. I shout the group chat. Oh god, they, they message a lot in this. We don't want Dilf Ryan. What, what's wrong with Ryan? Uh, lol. Jed just called it the Google. That's not what it said on the Google. Babe, are you going to text us every time Jed has a boomer moment? In fairness, he deserves it. Lol, let me just hop on the old Google there. Best mustache wax send. No, no, dad's a loyal captain, mistress, luxury, pomade man. Is that real? There's no way. It's real. Google it. Sorry, the Google it. Oh, what the hell is this magical? Okay, so wait, am I losing it? I mean, you're dating me, so shut up, babe. This guy just popped into my commissions inbox. Uh oh, wait, why? Uh oh, trust me, the story's going to warn. And uh oh, he's like, I want a portrait done of me and my wife. And I'm like, of course, can you invite me with a picture of you two? And he says, oh, no, I'm not married yet. So I'm like, that's fine, send me a pic of you and your fiance. And he's like, I don't have a fiance. And now I'm starting to get like vibes, like super weird vibes. Uh, told you. Uh,. So okay then, dude's like, but I know what my future wife will look like. I saw her in a dream. No, holy shit. Okay, but it gets weirder. Then he's like, I think $50 is a, prayer, a fair price. And I tell him, no, I'm sorry, but a full color portrait, my fee is $200. Oh God, I see where this is going. And this dude says, oh no, I think I meant $50 is a fair price for you to pay me for letting you know about my visions of the future. Fuck. <laughs> Gee, Shara, that's so out. Called it, fucking called it. I feel like I'm going insane. So are you going to pay him 50 bucks you owe him or... <laughs> 
<laughs> I love Gabe. Um. Okay. Oh wait. Uh, don't, uh, yo, you're doing great. Give me a call towards the end of your shift for the debrief. Hey, thanks, ma'am. I'll do it. I'm sorry. Is it fucking snowing? Yes, it was 90 degrees yesterday. Carado, baby. I hate it. Give it 24 hours so I explain this ending to me. Machine cult? Yeah, dude, this movie makes no sense. Well, I mean, true, but what's dope about it? No, but the dude, like, he feeds the baby to the machine? Why? He spent the whole movie trying to protect the damn baby. I don't know, dude. It's like a metaphor for what? It's not like one to one. It's tonal. It's about letting go of the things that you use to define yourself. That sucks, though. Lol. Don't you like any normal movies? No, nah, not really. Mm, yeah. Uh, back room. 